Hello everybody, I'm Buzz Fowler and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for Friday, February 12th, 2016. So, the Moon is in Capricorn, Capricorn, in Aries. <laughs> the Moon is in Aries today, trining Saturn, and that's going to be around 10 hundred hours Central European time, that's like 4 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, and that's really a great time to, uh, if you are in Central Europe, to take things forward, to take projects forward, to work with authoritative figures, to um, e even with fam older family members, but really to uh, understand that this is a time that we feel more responsible and more capable to move things ahead in life. It's as if we are sending out more authority and, 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 and we seem to people more responsible and more authoritative in a sense. It's as if we have more confidence and we can utilize that both for ourselves and with others to take things forward in our lives. We do have to be careful around noon time, that's around 1300 hours Central European time. Americans, that's your early morning, that's around 700 hours Eastern Standard time. Because there's a square to Pluto, that's a time that drama could really uh, uh, blow up in our life and our emotional world could be a bit unproportional so we need to keep that in mind and later on in around 1500 hours central european time that's around 900 hours eastern standard time is going to be a conjunction to uranus and later on that conjunction of the moon and uranus is going to turn into a yod configuration together with mars and jupiter that are sextiling each other in around 2100 hours Central European time, 1500 hours Eastern Standard time. So what does it all mean? It means that today is about not giving up. It's about thinking outside the box, bringing your own unique self, your own flavors and your own genius into this world, into the table in a sense. But it's all about the right proportion. You know, one of my astrology teachers, Robert Kaur often talks about the right proportion, the right measure. And he says that if a woman, for example, does amazing makeup, you almost don't see that she put makeup on. She just looks more beautiful and more aesthetic. But if she overdoes it, it looks rude, it looks crude, and it doesn't make her more beautiful. So it's exactly about that. It's about having the right proportion, the measured cup of exactly the drink that we need to drink. Not getting drunk with uh, boasting with ourselves, with uh, being too <clears throat> extravagant, with uh, being too uh, vain, it's about really, really, really thinking about everything that we do and setting the table up that it would be inviting for people to experience what is the unique garden that we call ourselves in our lives. So setting up that metaphorical table for people that we love, people around us, and invite them because the table is set so nicely, they would sit around that table <clears throat> excuse me, and <clears throat> be part of our lives and share the food, the drink, the love, the attention and the talk, the conversation. So really, humility, being tactful and making the right choices for making it more inviting for people to come in and see the wonderful, unique garden, colorful garden that is you and that needs to bloom out, but bloom out in a very aesthetic and tactful way today. So, thank you for listening and have a great weekend and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.